Hello and welcome back to Metro Exodus with me, Private Potato Gaming. We're going to jump right into the action. So I've climbed up to the top of this crane and now after eliminating the sniper and his bandit friends, these idiots are coming to try and take back the position. Let's just get rid of them. That hurt. I'm... I really don't like this optic. Doesn't feel like it's zero. Oops. Oi. That's... That's so bloody rude. Well, I suppose if my bullets penetrate their cover, why can't their bullets penetrate mine? Would you just bloody stand still? There we go. Right. Come on, idiot. There we go. And one final dimwit. Yep, that was my bad, my sensitivity. One more. I'm gonna take this laser off, this laser's getting on my nerves. Because it's not actually on target. It's slightly off. But those guys are all dead now, I'm gonna zip line down. And we can also, while we're up here, clean the rifle. In reality, snipers don't make use of laser sights. That's the whole point, having a nice hefty scope on top of your rifle. I just want to have a quick look around before I slide down. Just in case there's anything else hiding up here. And there is. Okay, it's not ammo, but it is supplies for making ammo. What else have we got? <laughs> Color me curious. More scrap and a revolver. Yeah, that doesn't pay off very well. Not for the kind of exploration, because you wouldn't think to look there ordinarily. <laughs> now, our next stop in this journey is going to be right down there with my binos there they are we're gonna go and have a look and see what's going on down there the bandits have that place locked up tight so we're gonna just go and say hi Not gonna lie, it's kind of disappointing opening an ammo can and not finding ammo. Even though I've got enough ammo, I'd rather still find some. Okay, I'm gonna loot these guys for ammo and supplies and then I'm going to go and get back in the van and get moving.
Okay, I'm back on the road and the Baron can shut it. Well, obviously I'm not going to pull straight up there. So we got some sort of small outpost. <laughs> I think these outposts are meant to control the road. But they're not paying enough attention. Well, let's do it the hard way. That's one. Come on. That was him to stick his head up. <laughs> I got him to stick his head up and I took it off. Oops, I thought that was going to hit. Well, that definitely hit. Yeah, the Baron should have a class on concealment versus cover. I need to have one on actually hitting the target. Yeah, if you could just... I'd appreciate it if you could just back off, you and your friends. Right in the face. Right. One of my knives is buried somewhere in the dirt, way ahead. Ah, oh, it's fine, I'll just build a new one. Mental note, if you don't know how to fight a sniper, probably don't stick your head out like that. Come on. Could you like sit still so I can do that? Okay, I'm going to loot the outpost and then proceed down there to the cargo ship. Wonder if I'll find my knife. Scrap, scrap, and scrap. Fix, fix, 
Alright, this idiot, um, where'd he go? <laughs> that round carries him all the way down. <laughs> <coughs> making a left turn and I can't see anything through this absolutely rubbish windscreen well I'll just park right there Well, this is obviously their cars. I presume that's their transport truck for the slaves. Now, how does one get in? Okay, now we're on board, so let's have a look around. I presume you wanted the spanner, not the knife. My bad. I genuinely thought that would have helped, but nope. Right in the belly. It's not like I'm being overly sneaky, but I probably should start shooting out the light bulbs. I can save the ammo there. Well, this is going to be fun.
Up. Jiggies up, jiggies up. That's what good armor plating does. It stops a flipping knife to the chest. Oops. Whoops. Oh, looky there. Upgrade fire helmet. Well, the inherent oh, for a jam. I was going to say, the inherent problem of body armies it reaches a point where it no longer stops bullets. Right up until I was interrupted by that jam. Okay, I won't shoot you. I'll just knock you the heck out. Well, your friends look like they didn't have a good time. Well, I think the grenade put an end to that fight. Because I impacted the corner, I think I got that guy. Molotov cocktails. Obviously the control room for the cargo bay. And that is a triple quad barrel upgrade for the shotgun. I'd be excited to explore it, but right now I'm going to stick with my current gear. Well, the Baron no longer has slave labor, and it's time for us to exfil. <laughs> oh wait, I just want to have one last look around. You've always got to remember to check, because you never know if you're going to miss out on a nice piece of loot. Maybe it's a safe full of valuable cargo. Or maybe it's literally nothing. There we go. Mechanical scraps and chemicals. Oh, this was our info. That's where we came in. Now let's head on out. It is bright outside. Wow. Nine forty-two. It is so damn bright.
Well, the Baron and his band of morons no longer have slave labour. Okay, I really don't care about that. Maybe these people, maybe these troubles can help, but I'm gonna go and shoot the Baron, possibly. There's something to investigate down the way, but for now, I'm gonna leave this episode right here. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.